Detective fiction fans worldwide love Cuban crime writer Leonardo Padura. He's been translated into 20 languages and his character Mario Conde immortalized in a Netflix miniseries. But in his native Cuba, his books are published in limited batches and the 61-year-old is relatively little known. <laughs> I'm semi-visible. It's a bit of a complicated reality. I rarely appear on Cuban TV, I rarely appear in the media, but I have a lot of readers. Padura won international acclaim for his 2009 book, The Man Who Loved Dogs, a historical thriller about the agent who assassinated Soviet exile Leon Trotsky. But he's probably best known for his novel starring hard-drinking Havana detective Mario Conde. Up to now, I've said almost everything I've wanted to in my books. If it doesn't appear, it's because I haven't been interested in writing about it. With thousands of books sold and a slew of prizes under his belt, Padura could live comfortably abroad. But he has chosen instead to remain in his childhood home on the outskirts of Havana, where he lives with his wife, Lucia. I could probably move somewhere else, like Spain or the United States. But I can't see myself living anywhere else, and above all, I can't imagine writing anywhere else. Padura's relative anonymity at home has allowed him to stay in touch with his roots. He may spend much of the year abroad promoting his books, but for his novels, this connection to Cuba is key.